I'm here at the Siglent stand to talk to Thomas to find out more about their high resolution oscilloscopes and also about their new range of arbitrary waveform generators to see how they can help you during the testing of your embedded systems. Hi Thomas, great to see you back here at Embedded World 2022 here at the Siglent stand. Uh, could you just give us an update on uh, what you're showing here this year at the show? Hi Stuart, nice, nice that you're here on our booth. So we have um, today, or yeah, at, the, at the show in general, nine different applications which are all around uh, embedded applications from RF to, to IoT. So everything is collected here. And uh, one of the specials here we have in front of us is one of the highlights for today, or for our show today. What I understood was that the, this digital storage oscilloscope has sort of received an upgrade in terms of its, uh, yeah. uh, the, the number of bits it's capable of. Uh, yeah. Yeah, resolution. Yes, so the other highlight for us at Sigland is also that it now has higher resolution um, ADCs, which is a 12-bit compared to the 8-bit what we had before, or still have. Um, now the 12-bit the, the gives, gives you more dynamic range in, in, all the, in all the areas where you need it, when you need um, at Power Electronics, especially this is one of the, one of the target applications we are, yeah. we are looking at. And so how is this particular demonstration set up here? So the, the setup here is we have a power supply, um, we output the DC, and at the DC line we are pulling different types of currents, so 1 amp and, and 0 0.1 amp, and we are measuring um, the current itself, uh, which on we're triggering, and then we see the voltage drop um, on, the, on the voltage line itself, um, which is a very weak signal, and the 12-bit make it visible quite well. Yeah. Now, one of the frustrations, I think, for engineers is, with the software oscilloscopes has always been that, yes, it's nice to have all of that capability, but often we have to purchase a license to get more functionality. Yeah. How does it look here with Siglent and, uh, for example, serial decoding and other yeah. features and functions? Yeah. So our general approach is to include as much as possible, but of course we also um, need to, to trade off a little bit but in general, all the serial decodings, so standard decoders like I2C, SPI, UART, CAN and LIN are standard included. And um, for special applications like CAN FD or FlexTray, we have an option. Um, function generator is, an, is also an option. And also Bode plot is, is standard included. Okay. Um, also, we have big memory. Um, also, bandwidth is upgradable later on. That if you invest today, then you can, the scope can grow with your demand more or less. Now, mathematical functions are also very helpful in order to yeah. analyze applications yeah. very quickly. How does that work with the Siglent scopes? Yeah, so we have a mathematic a formula editor, which on one hand can yeah, utilize standard, standard setups, but you can also define your own uh, formulas and, and do whatever you just need to solve your, your task. So another key aspect of debugging and developing electronic systems is to control some of the signals, maybe recreate um, digital interfaces and analog interfaces yeah. to yeah. make sure your microcontroller's operating and reacts correctly to the signals. And there we need like a, an arbitrary waveform generator. Could you tell us a bit more about the solution that you have here? Yes. The solution we have here is the, the latest one, the latest introduced product from us, which we introduced in February this year. Um, it incorporates different types of signals which you can generate. So it starts from, from digital general signals. You can also have, of course, analog um, arbitrary function channel functions. Um, this can be single-ended or differential. And on top of everything, then you can also modulate um, the output signals with IQ, so mean complex modulation, that you can also address RF um, questions um, yeah, or tasks, finally. And with the 6000 series digital scope, what's uh, the attraction there for our engineering audience? Um, the attraction generally is we have um, five giga samples on each port, so each of the ports. Um, the bandwidth goes up to two gigahertz, which is the, at the top level for Siglent right now. But we are working, of course, on, on extensions as well in this area. And it's again the combination of various different um, functions and features which we included as standard what we already talked before. Yeah. So when engineers are working today, oftentimes there's lots of need for regular testing. Yeah. Um, how easy is it to integrate these into a, a testing environment for continuous integration type yeah. processes? So 
generally all our instruments um, have the possibility to be controlled remotely. Um, remotely in terms of if you do your own programming then it's um, SCPI commands then you just use your software and then you send and receive um, commands. Um, all the scopes have a web server integrated so that you can just connect it to your web and then open your browser and um, type the IP address and you have full control of the instrument. So this is also quite good for setting up and debugging the whole system before it goes into, into process. Super. Well, thanks ever so much for your time today and the explanation of the, the demonstrators that are out here at the Siglent stand. Welcome. And uh, we wish you a great show this week. Thank you. Bye.